so in the hana side whatever we discuss till now in that so let me discuss about the few important points you need to remember in the real time point of view in the technical discussions these are very much helpful to you so hana the first we have started with the hana hardware requirements and software requirements in hana the first point is hana list of file systems list of the hana file systems here hana file systems list of the hana file systems list of the hana file systems here so we have root and slash hana data right we discussed and also slash hana log file slash hana data slash hana log and slash hana shared slash hana shared and usr sap these are the very important file systems for hana database here these are the very important file systems apart from that the os level operating system level file systems are so like slash home slash temp and slash var slash swap so these are the so important file systems for the hana operating system level this one swap also should be very important for the hana databases here so hana databases we have to install from hana hana db we have to install hana databases so we have to install from hdb install from hdb install from hdb lcm tools here either three ways we can do the installation here three ways we can do the install three ways three ways we can do the we can do the installation we can do the installations here so one is the hdb lcm command prompt mode hdb lcm web in the browser mode and hdb lcm gui here in the graphical user interface level we can use it the most preferred method is command prompt mode here you need to set you need to set up the anything here in the command prompt mode here so that is the one way we can set up here three ways we can do the installations here so while doing the installation ana installation here important point is so here <coughs> the os level os level your os version os version and the os kernel os kernel should be match match according to the your according to ana version hana version what version of you are going to use it should be match it according to the hana version here if you are installing latest version and your os and kernel should be the latest version here it should be match it here os level hana version can be match according to the hana version when doing the when doing the installation here the one more important point is so the sometimes you may have to update compact c++ libraries and some and uh, some ins sarv the libraries the, these are the bind the libraries rpm packages i mean to say rpm packages we have to update this one we have to update compact c++ this one we may have to update it here and also for installation we have to installation we have to do from we have to do from root user root user here so when doing the installation when doing the installation so the system and sid edm users will be created users will be created and uh, once the installation is completed then we can add to the hana studio then hana studio administration part hana studio the admin part is very important here hana studio admin part is very important here especially the performance tab overview tab landscape tab analysis tab the performance tab right so performance tab volumes tab configuration tabs these are very important here so these are very important here configuration tab so configuration parameter changes and everything here so some parameters are static some parameters are dynamic here so volumes tab slash hana data slash hana log right so landscape tab alerts tab performance tab so then after that we discussed about the 
Prasthana Delta merge concept and save point interval. Save point interval here. Every five minutes, save point interval will happen here. Then we discussed about the so backups and the restore. Then we discussed about the backup, HANA backups, backup types here. Then restore types here. So one more thing is important while doing the restore here. We so source while doing the source and target, like we have source the target while doing the restore source when doing the restore activity right the source and source and target <coughs> source and target the target version should be same or our target should be higher higher than higher than source this is the one of the thumb rule you should remember while doing the restore and everything here okay both should be same version or should be same or the target should be higher than source the target should be higher than source then only the restore works otherwise restore it won't work here right so and also when doing the when doing the when doing the restore or restore or refresh activity store from scale out scale out scenario to scale out to scale up scenario means master slave node to and slave master slave there is a scale out means there is a nodes concept here master slave so nodes standby standby stand standby so we have the nodes concept in the in the scale out scenario scale up scenario means we don't have anything here so when you are doing the restore from the scale out scenarios to the scale up so what we have to do you know we need to <coughs> we need to there is some specific steps we need to follow we need to ensure the high level same set of so why because master means one index server one one access engine so slave means master node, slave means same. So same, all the means here. So one master, one slave, one standby means you need to maintain the same set of services, same set of process, ana, ana resources we have to maintain in the same set of resources we have to maintain in, in we have to maintain in the, the target side, then do the restore activity then restore the do the restore activity high level this is the maintain so in single shot answer so <clears throat> in the source we have the three index servers in the target here the only one index server means you have to maintain the additional two in two more index servers then we have to do the restore activity here so that is the one important thing you should remember here so uh, that is the one thing for the restore activity here and also you need to remember remember the remember the hana stop and start activities hana stop and start activities here right hana stop and start activities here hana stop and start activity while starting the hana database so what exactly happens while stopping the hana database what exactly happens those things are should be important here so why it's, it will taking very longer time while Anna, Anna, when, when doing the HANA installation sorry Anna stopping or starting it will take some time to completely start the HANA database why means so while starting the HANA base HANA database all the data will be reloaded from disk storage to data folder to which means the persistency layer persistency layer means slash HANA data slash HANA log there is a one more name is called the persistency layer to in the persistency memory here in the main memory here so that time while loading the data it will take some time so that is the reason ana starting procedure will take some time so ana stopping also will take some time why because the save points will happen here that time right so and also data backup log backups will happen log backups will happen log backups will happen every 15 minutes automatically right so data backups that is our wish daily ones or two days once or weekly ones that is our wish but log backups will happen daily every 15 minutes once the log backups will happen in the daily here 
So these are the important points you need to remember, right? As of now, whatever we discussed, these are the important points. So one more thing is there is a <coughs> resident, resident HDB LCM. After the installation, there is a resident HDB LCM will be installed. After the installation, the resident HDB LCM will be installed. So for this one, we can perform the post installation activity post installation activities we can perform it like so sld registration like updating the components here updating update components so register the components here unregister so some etc like post installation activities which will perform from the using the resident hdb lcm here installation we can perform from the hdb lcm to normal installation so for the resident HDB LCM, we can perform the post. So installation activities, we can perform it here, right? The post installation activities, we can perform using the resident HDB LCM. So this resident HDB LCM comes as part of the installation here. So if you see here, if you log into the, suppose any one of the folder, HD4 ADM, so then you can see there is a slash ana shared here. There is a slash and a shared, then HD4, then there is a HDB LCM. You see here, HDB LCM here. Using this HDB LCM, this is called the resident HDB LCM here. We can perform the post installation activity. Suppose you want to register the HANA system into the SLD. You want to update the component. You want to add the installations. So update. So all the work, configure the SLD check the installation, all those things we can perform from the resident HDB LCM here. Normally this we have to run as a root user. You have to run this from the root user, you will get the full-fledged functionalities. Full-fledged functionalities we have to get from here, right? So that is the one thing you should remember the resident HDB LCM tool. <clears throat> okay, so these are the very few important things you should remember here. The next one is the HANA upgrade. So that we will perform it after the HA topic is completed. Then we will perform the HANA upgrade. So and system refresh activity here. These are the topics is left here. <clears throat>